Okay, so on my home screen, there's three applications, the calculator, the calendar, and settings. If I open the calculator, it's going to take me to Facebook Messenger. And if I open the calendar application, it will take me to Instagram. And if I open settings, it will take me to my messages application. So in today's video, I'll show you guys how to hide apps under different names and icons on Android. I hope you guys enjoy. By the way, guys, before we enter the tutorial, uh, make sure to comment below and like the video. I'll also make sure to have your comment shown on my next video. So with that being said, let's head into the tutorial. All right, so the first thing you need to do, obviously, you need to go to the App Store and install an application. Now, the link for this application will be in the description box, so don't worry about that. Or you can just easily search for X icon changer on the Play Store and you can have that. After that, you're going to press on install and we're going to wait for the application to start downloading. Now, the application size is not that much. We're just going to wait for the application to finish downloading. I'm not going to skip anything. I'm not going to fast forward anything. So everything is crystal clear to you guys. And also, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Okay, so now the application is about to be installed. After it's installed, I'm going to press on open and then I'm going to show you what the next steps are. So go ahead and click on or tap on open so the application can launch now the first thing you need to do obviously the application will show you a walkthrough but i have all the steps shown to you on the right hand side of the screen so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and search for the applications that you want to hide or search for the applications that you don't want uh, to be shown on your home screen in and you want them to be changed to like the calculator or the calendar. So let's choose messenger here. I'm gonna click on messenger and then I'm going to change the name for that application. So originally it's called messenger. I'm just gonna change it to, let's say the calculator. And then after you type that in, make sure to choose the icon for the calculator so it can be hidden completely. So now that's done for the first application. But if you're running this for the first time, it's gonna ask you for permission. So go ahead and give permission for the application to start. So you're going to go to camera and then give it application to access and then you're going to go and give it access as well. So after that, you're going to go and give it permission for the application to start running perfectly. And by that, you need to go to other permissions. It can be different on your Android phone. So I'm just going to slowly find that option for you. So if you go to your application settings, you will have a tab called other permissions. It might be permissions, but on some Android phones, it's written as other permissions. So click on that and then make sure to give it the access to do shortcuts on your home screen. Now, it's best if you give uh, access to all these four options here so it can run properly. So just go ahead and do that. And once you're back to your application, you can click on OK, and then you will have this new icon on your home screen. It's going to show you an ad. So the first thing, obviously, you have to wait for the ad to complete, and then you can uh, click on the uh, X button and close the ad. And now you have that application with a different name and with a different icon on your home screen. So if you go to the last page on our home screen, you'll see an icon for the calculator with the icon and name. And if we open that, it's going to take you to the messenger. If you enjoyed this video, it will be greatly appreciated if you help me by subscribing to the channel and also liking the video. So let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, it's Facebook Messenger. So in case uh, what I did was too quick, I'm just gonna quickly do another application using the same tutorial. So what I do is I basically go and open X icon uh, changer. You click on open and then you search for the application that you want. For example, let's uh, choose Instagram this time. I'm gonna change the name to, let's say, um, I think I'm gonna make it the calendar. So I'm just going to write calendar here and then I'm gonna choose the icon for the calendar from the list that I have. And by the way, you can change the icon to anything you want by choosing a custom photo from the gallery. Anyways, with that being said, I'm just going to click on open. It's going to show me an ad. I'm going to wait for that ad to show. And then uh, once the ad is complete, I'm going to close the ad and I'll have that application on my home screen. So let's go ahead and close that ad. Okay. So if we go back to the home screen, we should see an application by the name of calendar on our home screen. But in fact, if we open it, it's going to take us to Instagram. Okay. So it's as easy as that. And if the second time is not obvious enough, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do it for the third time by choosing another application. 
So as you can see, it's working for Facebook Messenger and Instagram. You can do this for pretty much every application that crosses your mind. Let's see, you have something private in one of the applications. You don't want normal users to open that app for you. You're just gonna change the name and the icons and that's it. So let's go ahead and do it for the third application. Like I said, you're gonna go to X icon changer. You're gonna click on open and then you're gonna search for the application that you want. We're gonna do the messages here. So I'm just gonna click on messages. I'm gonna change the name of the application from messages to let's say we're going to do it to settings since we chose the icon for settings then i'm going to change the name as well and after that i'm just going to press on ok obviously there will be an ad you're going to wait for that ad to complete and once the ad is done you're going to click on close the ad and you'll have that icon on your home screen now the tutorial is really easy but if you're facing any difficulties make sure to comment below i'm there to help you so don't worry about that i'll probably reply to any comment that i see on this video and as you can see the icon is there now if i open on if i click on calculator it's going to take me to facebook messenger like i said if i tap on calendar it's going to take me to messenger and if i tap on settings it will take me to messages so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching uh, if the video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe. And that's it for today's video. Peace out.